We're gonna take a look at how to find the interior angles of polygons. The first question says, what is the sum of the angle measures in this shape? So notice this shape has four sides. So in other words, it's a quadrilateral, right? Quadrilateral means a shape with four sides. I'm gonna abbreviate that as quad. Now we do have a formula that we can use to help us figure out the sum of the angle measures for any shape based on the number of sides. And our formula is this. It's n minus 2 times 180, where n represents the number of sides. So in this case, it's a quadrilateral, which means there's four sides. So we would say n is equal to 4. So if I plug that into my formula, I would say 4 minus 2 times 180 should give me the sum or the total I get when I add all four angles together. Okay, well 4 minus 2 is 2, and I have to say 2 times 180. Well, 2 times 180 gives me 360. So this means that any quadrilateral has four interior angles or inside angles that add up to 360 degrees. What is the sum of the angle measures in this shape? Okay, well, we're gonna use the same formula we used on the last problem, n minus two times 180 because that's gonna determine the sum of the interior angles for any shape based on n number of sides. So the first thing I wanna do is count how many sides. So I'm gonna start over here on this left side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so my figure has six sides. That means in place of n, I'm gonna use six. Okay. It's also called a hexagon, right? Any six-sided figure called a hexagon. So when we plug this in, we're going to say 6 minus 2 times 180. 6 minus 2 is going to give me 4. And I'm going to say 4 times 180 and see what that gives me. and that gives me 720. So all six angles inside my hexagon are gonna add up to 720. What is the sum of angle measures in this shape? Okay, well, we know we're gonna be using n minus two times 180. So let's count how many sides. I'm going to start here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we did this problem just a second ago. We already saw that six minus two times 180 or four times 180 gave us 720. Okay, so this one, if we count our sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is the same we saw a second ago, six sides. So it's gonna give us the same answer, 720. Okay, if I count my sides here, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's another hexagon, so the same answer, 720. What is the sum of angle measures in this shape? Start counting my sides at the top here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, another hexagon. That means we're gonna have the same answer, 720. What is the sum of the angle measures in this shape? Well, let's count our sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is the sum of the angle measures in this shape? 
Okay, so you might already have this one memorized because we've worked with triangles a little bit. But just in case, I wanna show you that we could use the same formula that we used just a moment ago, n minus two times 180 to figure this out. Well, remember n stood for the number of sides. So a triangle has one, two, three sides. So that means we would say three minus two times 180. And three minus two is just one. So one times 180 gives us 180 degrees. Okay, which if you remember is what you might already have memorized for the three angles in a triangle add up to 180. Okay, what is the sum of angle measures in this shape? Okay, so let's count our sides. One, two, three, four. So any four-sided figure, we can say, okay, n minus two times 180. Our number of sides was four, so four minus two times 180, which gives us two times 180. or 360, so 360 degrees.